what's something that you're looking to accomplish over the next 12 months? Over the next 12 months, um, you know, I think I want to operationalize my business and my schedule a little bit more. Um, my, my kind of path in real estate um, was pretty, it was pretty easy. Like it grew, my business grew pretty, I mean, it wasn't easy. I worked my ass off, but right, right, right. Um, you know, like, I don't know, like I had a great network. I had a good team that I was on, you know, I, I was, have the skill set that allowed me to grow really quickly. And, and my business grew so fast that I didn't really have to focus on this structure behind it, you know, yeah. and now I'm getting to the point where, um, you know, if I, the, you plateau, like you can only do so much before you burn out, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and so that's kind of where, where I want to, to figure out some stuff um, this year. Um, and I think part of that too is, you know, goes back to the ego thing. It's like, I'm a, I can do anything myself kind of person. I can do it better. I can do it quicker. And, you know, I mean, I need to, um, I need to get some help um, if I want to, to be able to grow. Um, and really at this point, it's like, I'm the only person in my way. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm in a place now, just personal crap over the last six to 12 months has just really, uh, beat the hell out of me. Um, so I, I've kind of given myself some grace. Um, but now I'm to the point where I'm kind of getting my, my feet back under me and, and I really want to um, just be a little more accountable. I'm actually considering hiring a coach, um, which I've never thought about before because I'm like, I'm doing great. Why do I need a coach? But, <laughs> um, you know, I, I really need some help figuring out, you know, how, how I can, I know what my goals are, um, but I don't, my goals are different than what they were the past couple of years, which the past couple yeah. of years has just been make as much money as possible and just keep cranking it out. And now my goals are, you know, have that freedom, have that flexibility, um, still make the money, but, you know, find that balance. And my personal skill set is not that my personal yeah. skill set is just go, 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 go. So yeah, yeah. Um, my, that's my goal is to just kind of figure out how it can operationalize things where I can still do the business that I want, but, um, and grow it without being completely burnt out. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah. What's, what are you looking to accomplish in the next five years? Next five years. Oh, retirement would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I like that. I, uh, um, I don't know. I think I'm figuring that out still right now. I think that's changing. Um, so I don't have a good answer for that. Um, that's perfectly, that, hey, that's perfectly yeah. fine. You don't have to have an yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah. What? Um. I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> no. Well, this this next question then is really going to have you thinking. What's a mm. uh, What's a legacy goal for you? Yeah. What's What's something that you're looking to hit when you're no longer here? Hmm. I mean, I think that um, how we treat people has a, you know, butterfly effect. It has a ripple effect. And um, I think treating people with kindness and, you know, making other people's lives better um, starts that ripple effect that can go well beyond you're here in the physical form. Um, so I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but I think just being a really good person that makes really big impact on people's lives and even small impacts, um, yeah. that just kind of reverberate for a very long time, I think is, is what I would like my legacy to be. I don't know. There's a, uh, and I know, you know, uh, Kim Mills, but she, um, I have no clue who that is. <laughs> she hosts uh our book club every month yeah. and uh, we just got done reading the book called the gift of influence i think you would like mm. that one it's i don't okay. know if you're a reader or not but um it's by tommy uh spaulding called the gift of influence mm -hmm. um, but it's, it, it talks about just that 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll check Jake. it out. I, I'm just learning how to read, so. <laughs> Breeding wasn't a uh, – it was not a strong suit for me, and I hated it when yeah. I got into this business. But, you know, yeah. I actually found that I love it because, you know, it's that growth. It's that mission to always be growing, right? It's yeah. business, personal, whatever. Uh,